Right, it's been a while since uh, since I've been videoing and doing things on the Mini, mainly because it's been behaving itself, it's been reliable and, and broke down, everything's been fine with it. Um, but now I'm going to Donington on the 25th of October um, and it's Sunday the 21st today. So I thought I'd get a couple of little jobs done on it before, uh, before I go. And the jobs are rear anti-roll bar and a new brake pad wear sensor at the back because the uh, the brake pad wear sensor is missing <laughs> um, so those are the two jobs and also as well what I might do if I get time which is an inconvenience but nothing wrong with the car is change out that's an interior job change out the power supply um, at the front of the car because ever since I put the cooler work shifter in it hasn't been plugged in um, because my hands are too big I can't get behind there so I bought a uh, I bought a, a piece of kit that I think might work um, so if I get time I'll get that done as well yes so it's been it's been brilliant the car hasn't missed a beat hasn't had any warning lights apart from the handbrake uh, warning light that was on because of the, uh, the brake pad wear sensor Right, so it's quite easy. Um, I've had the wheels off already. So you've got your top fixing here, your bottom fixing is at the back. Down there, all you do is undo those, pop a new one in, um, and you also have to have your jack to just adjust the height of the rear hub. You can see it hasn't been out for a while, it's been raining tending not to take it out in the rain anymore I have got a little bit of this so it's a little bit of uh, what looks like oil but it isn't oil um, it's fluid film I put fluid film on all the significant bolts um, last time I uh, I was doing any work on it and I think the fluid film is just being splashed around because I did put a bit too much on okay so let's get these done So this side's done, there's a new drop link on, um, couldn't torque this to 56 newton metres because I can't get my torque wrench here, it's too big in the wheel arch, uh, so I've just done it as hard as I could with the spanner. Um, if I show you, see if you can see that, the bottom one, there, I had a problem with this. Um, because I've got adjustable control arms, this wouldn't come out of that gap without taking the bottom mounting off for the control arm and pushing it down a couple of inches. Um, so I've got to get a, an alignment there. So that's that done. Got to do the, uh, the brake pad wear sensor next which goes in there and I'll have a look at the brakes when I do that as well just to make sure they're not uh, not getting too low uh, the car looks okay actually from a point of view of the work that I did with the rear suspension taking it all out and then painting it so um, it's holding up particularly the, uh, the powder coating and the rear subframe Happy about that. All of this looks a bit mucky at the moment because I put too much of that uh, that um, rust inhibitor on. So uh, I'm just going to put a bit on that and then a lower one and then uh, move on and just give it a quick check over before I put this wheel back on and move on to the next side. Okay, brake pad wear sensor next. Okay, so that's the second side done. I'll show you the old ones in a minute. I've gone uh, just a little bit of fluid film on the nuts and I've undone all this does as I said before just prevents everything corroding all the fixings I'm giving it a go see how we get on but he's making a bit of a mess in the back of the car Ooh. still got the dodgy knee And that's 
it. Hardest part of the job. Um, just connecting up the uh, the brake pad wear sensor on this side. Which is there. So it wasn't this end. It was the other end in here. It was a problem. The, the tangs on the connector needed to be snipped back a bit. Ooh. Right, so that's it. I'm going to take it for a test drive, see what it sounds like. And uh, rub these brake discs off. And then uh, I'm going to go and wash it on Tuesday, ready for the track day on, excuse me, on Wednesday. Donington Park. Plenty of meat on the pad still. All right then guys, I'll uh, close it. No, I'm not gonna close it out yet. I'm gonna actually go back into the garage and show you the, um, the, the old ones. I'll see you in a bit. Right, so there are the two uh, drop links that I took off. The uh, top end, which goes into the anti-robot, they look okay. Doesn't look a lot wrong with them, but when you have a look at the bottom end, let me just get a torch hanger. Let's get a torch. Hello. So when you have a look at the top end, you can see how it's uh, air the gun. So possibly that was the court source of the back end knocking its tits off. So um, I've took it out for a ride. Everything seems okay. I've still got a bit of a clunk on the front. I've had that ever since I put the cold overs on. So I'm sort of happy with that. I won't get it. Um, I won't get it aligned before I go to Donington. Um, I should get it aligned after. So uh, happy. It's a bit cold. It's a bit cold at my daughter's car. It's a bit cold out there to be working on the cars, but uh, never mind. I haven't put these in yet. So that's a new uh, easy fit power socket for the front. And there's a phone plugger in there, because I'm running off a battery at the moment, which is this. So I just pop that in at the moment. Yep, so um, I might do that next, or I might go in because I'm cold. So that's it, back on working on the car. Not saying it's unreliable, but um, it's starting to throw a few things at me now. These aren't that old. Um, I, I, hadn't, I remember having these off um, Neo Brothers um, and they're heavy duty. So I'm just wondering if, um, and I'll put the same on, sorry. I'm just wondering if they get some adjustable ones and maybe um, drop drop the uh, the length of them a little bit oh, I'll have a think about that okay all right then guys so that's me done dusted a video that I haven't posted for about four months so uh, yeah I'm still here I'm still back on it um, doing things when I need to all right guys see you later